Hello everyone, I'm making this video to demonstrate one of the softwares which we have developed, which is currently being used by multiple saloons. So saloons having multiple branch or companies can use this system to manage their uh, employees, their calendars, services offered, and uh, you know the rates of these services. So we are going to go and uh, deep dive in detail once we go inside the system. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, so let me just quickly uh, log in here. So as soon as you log in, you basically see the list of appointments you have today, along with the uh, along with with your employee names, like who is being booked for the specific appointment. And when you go and hover uh, on any specific appointment, you can see you know like uh, you can see the summary information of that appointment like what time it is being booked any uh, service name and the total amount and if there is any paid amount and uh, any comments being added by the client now when we go on the dashboard we see total appointments being booked today and uh, the cancel appointment so you can basically get you can get an idea like what needs to be done today and what is being cancelled. So we'll quickly go into appointments, which will bring us to the calendar view. Uh, but again, it will have the list of appointments as per the days. And we can also change it to, uh, you know, month, week or day as per our preference. So you can see this one is uh, like basically this one is a week view. Then we can also change it to months view and uh, when we click on any specific let's say I, i'm gonna click on this 10 30 a.m lee so when i click on this it will it will show detailed information about that appointment like which date it is uh what is the start time end time what services is being booked by the client if client has put in any discount code if there is any comments by client and how he's going to pay and from here i can basically select where if, if client doesn't show up on time i'm gonna basically uh, tag no shows if it is being like services being delivered then i'm gonna select completed and then i can delete cancel copy if it is being cancelled by client then i'm gonna like just select cancel and uh, the, yeah these are the details so i'm gonna go to the next section so the next section is uh, discount so as the owner of this uh, saloon you can define which discounts you want to offer any promotions which you are running so currently you can see the list of uh, discount you know discounts which are running now and you can add a discount here you can basically give it a name you can uh, select a discount type whether it is a percentage based discount or the value based it's self-explanatory like whether you want to make uh, you know 10 20 percent off on a on a minimum order value or you want to give flat you know let's say 20 dollars off 50 dollars off you can def define minimum discount you can define the start and end date you can define uh, the services on which you want to give discount. You can define the per user occurrences, maximum occurrences, whether it is valid during weekends or not. So you can define that. You can create basically packages like, you know, there are a bundle of services which customer would like to book. Uh, you know, so you can define the packages from here. And uh, let me just quickly show you the packages. Okay, so there are two options like whether you want to create packages and customer packages. So the, these are the like, you know, current packages we have. If I add package, so basically I can, you know, create uh, and give it a name. Then I'm going to give it uh, a retail price. And I'm going to create, uh, I'm, I'm going to create a description then uh, these are the services which are already added in the system so this is how you basically define the packages and let let us now go to master
this is very important part of the system because it has a lot of uh, features needed for you to manage your salon so first is roles so these are different type of roles you can basically have in your salon you can have a super admin you can have organization admin you can have a branch admin so branch admin is basically is is only seeing specific details and managing details related related to his uh, assigned branch then we have therapist therapist is the employee of the uh, you know employee of the organization but he or she will only be able to access the details uh, about the appointments or the specific services he or she is going to perform and then receptionist is going to have details about that branch but you know they, they will have limited information and settings uh, you know they, uh, they will not have all the uh, privileges which branch admin will have so these are the roles then when we when you go in users you can see like you know what role they are at and uh, you can uh, you know select active or inactive status you can add it or delete any information about them uh, you can add the user you can select a role what role they are at you can choose a profile picture role will be a uh, user will be created and then you can also create different organizations you can add an organization out here and fill up more information about that organization it will also now let's say you want to uh, sell this to a different organization since this is the super admin so you can select which domain they'll be accessing their uh, software from and their role i mean a different organization will be created then you have branches now if you want to add different branch like if you have multiple locations you can add branch detail uh, once you fill up all these information they're like in you know, a location details and the contact name and uh, contact number email then you'll have to add timing close days special hours all these information can be added from here uh, then we'll just quickly go to uh, service test now when uh, you know in saloons let's say you know that there are different type of services related to skin or any other thing so uh, customer need to have a medical test done before they come for uh, any specific skin test or i mean skin service or hair service so we are going to have this information feed it to them before they book an appointment for that specific uh, ser service right so admin can define what tests are required uh, to perform which services and you can always add more tests uh, if you want to and then uh, then we have service type it's basically showcasing all different categories of services a salon would offer and then uh, then the actual services you can add uh, custom parameters like if you want let's say on the front end if you want to add uh, like any custom parameter so this is a very nice feature which uh, which any any person who is managing their business they can basically define any custom parameter like let's say uh, you know they they want to have a text box a check box selection box radio button on the front end right so it, they can they can themselves uh, define uh, this custom parameter and uh, then we are going to go next content master is self-explanatory you can def basically manage the content of your website like on the front end you can uh, manage and uh, edit that information as well so that's self-explanatory so this is a content management system basically uh, then we have holidays like you can define which days uh, you have a holiday like your salon is gonna have holiday then we have question groups then we have questions like for an example uh, uh like you know these are the questions which will be asked uh, to the customer when he's uh, he or she is booking for a specific service so these these are the questions which you can manage from here and then we are going to go uh cron job uh, cron job parameter so basically you can add a cron job parameter as well uh which is which is related to any specific uh, service type of or services and you can add a description so that will add a cron job as well and then we're gonna go uh 
let's say now the master uh, module is done and then we're gonna go in staff now in staff you can see all the employees out here you can add an employee and you can add the details about that person like the the date of birth their anniversary date um, uh, and you can also define whether you know therapist uh, what is the priority of, of booking that therapist then we can add more details about their employment services they offer so these are details which uh, you can make them active or inactive uh, as well from here so these are the details and then let me let me show you one of the current employees because you will then be able to uh, see what all information is there let me just go let me cancel that okay now if i edit any information from here let me go in employment so you can also define their uh, joining date relieving date re resigning date and then what are the services they offer if we have to you know uh, what is the product commission uh, what is the treatment service commission package commission we can all define it from here about that particular employee and then we have a rota so th this basically uh, helps you manage if they are like you know available in different shifts or if they are available uh, in different timings on different days so you can define this and uh, the system is going to basically assign the person who's going to be available for any any customers booking an appointment so uh and and let's let's also go and leave you can define all the leaves so if if there is any employee basically taking any leave you can select a reason out here and then uh let us go in customer so you can see all the customers information you can add a customer you can let, let's go and add it so you can see all uh, the information about the customer okay so we have their date of birth anniversary date and uh, you know their basic information block time is basically for you to be able to block any specific time uh, let's say you know uh, if any particular uh, therapist uh you know is basically has fallen uh, has fallen sick right so you can block that time that she's not going to be available from this time to this time so customer is not able to you know uh, uh system is basically able to uh you know identify who's available and who is not available because it is very important as well and then we have consultant forms which is uh uh again uh, you know uh, it's basically for gathering customers requirement so you, you can manage all these forms from here and you can add uh, different like you know you can add different forms uh, from the system so for an example if a customer books an appointment right so we need to have a certain information from them about the specific services he has booked so at the time of performing the services that therapist is going to you know ask them questions so what questions they have to ask you can manage it from here so that's the consultant form then you have settings uh, you can basically manage the email templates from here you can check uh, you can check the SMS log on the company number like what uh, what messages have uh, gone out to customers and what messages you have received and you can export and uh, have it emailed to you then we also have uh, different subscriptions information out here so uh, that's it from the business end I'm going to go and uh, show you uh, from the customers uh, view as well so this is the customers view so let's say basically customer wants to book an appointment first he'll have to select a select a location if a business has multiple locations uh, then let's go next category of services now this is what you know we, we uh, I told you like if a customer is 
selecting any service which requires any test prior to his appointment. So this is how they'll be able to see, you know, a pop-up message. Then you agree as a customer. Uh, okay. And then you basically select uh, what specific services you're looking for. If you, you can also add, uh, if, if you are, you know, if you want to book it for your friend as well, you can do that. You can add friends booking here. Let's go next. Uh, <clears throat> okay, it, it requires me to put, uh, let's say, details of the person. Uh, okay, so the number has to be 11 characters. Okay, that's been done. Let's quickly go to the next step. So now we see that we'll have to select, uh, we can select a date or we can select it from today, tomorrow or this Saturday. So let's say tomorrow. And uh, then, oh, it says that looks like a slot is not available. Okay, uh, so we'll, we'll have to personally call. Let's say if I go for this Saturday, okay, time slot is not available. Let's go. So the, okay, so maybe I select any different time, I think out here, let me, let, or maybe let me just uh, go ahead and uh, appointment date and time. Okay, I'll have to select time as well out here. Let me see. Let me see if I am. Mm, 